cow, it smells like dead fish in here. And she's dead. Let me. No. What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we're going to get into a Copart walk around, take a look at a couple different interesting vehicles and then um, yeah, that's about it and I'm going to try not to puke today. But if you saw the intro. Alright guys, which brings me to this S-Class. I am definitely, I already know, I already know y'all are going to be like, don't do it. Why would you want to do that? You're literally just punishing yourself. 159,000 miles on it. It's got those very nice, probably fake, but it has the logos and the center caps in it. Mercedes chrome rims on it. Looks like the suspension is a little low. Toe hook is in it. That's a little concerning. I'm afraid to go. I'm afraid. <laughs> I am afraid to check out the other side. Let me get a picture of this for the thumbnail. I am afraid to walk around here. Wait a minute. No, no, no! <laughs> oh. It's listed as a run and drive, but damn. Fender, door rear door yeah this thing needs a lot of work yeah that's a parts car look at this look at that damn it say it with me smash and then like wolverine hit this right here like just straight like <laughs> just straight wolverine it damn this one this back here is not too bad like you could probably body fill that the door where it's scraped on the paint eh, you probably need to replace the door this thing has that's just enough damage i mean this stuff back here you probably could body fill you could get away with it i just it would depend on what this car would go for you know what i'm saying like this thing would have to go so cheap to make it worth all the money and time you would put into this car to fix it and that's hoping hoping that they haven't broke the suspension you can see that the thing is already bent are you dead let's take a oh i heard why i hear life <clears throat> don't forget your key oh thank you see somebody that cares somebody that cares about their car it doesn't smell like raw ass in here see folks you can learn from this owner <laughs> yo I say that. There's like a bunch of toothpicks in here. Ugh. All right. That's kind of flimsy. Whatever. All right. Here's the key. She does have power. Will it start? Right up. All right. So air ride malfunction immediately on startup. AC seems to work. She is dead on gas, like dead, dead on gas. 159,000 miles. Interior looks nice, Harman Kardon sound system. This is an all wheel drive system, which you have to hope that that didn't get broken. Ah, that's why it smells nice in here. Somebody had the clone out. Interior though, the rear of the car looks really nice, sunroof. Rear AC just came on. DVD system. This car is really nice. Power steering ain't busted. The wheel still turns, which is making that side lift up because it's literally on the fender. I don't want to break it, but... Hey! This is not bad. I mean, mechanically, it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Let's see... Okay, it uh, goes into drive, goes into reverse. Yeah, if you and you're saying, oh, that's a Tesla thing. No, Tesla buys their stuff from Mercedes, guys. 
All right, so this is not too bad. This is not horrible. This is not something that I, you know, this is not bad. I, this is not bad at all. I actually like this. This is not bad at all. Like I could see, I could see doing something with this. Yeah. I mean, I guess it would depend on parts, right? At that point, I'm gonna put the key back up here. It would depend on parts, right? How much would the parts be to put it back together, right? That would be the big thing. How much would it be to put it back together? Because from this side of the car, it's beautiful. From this side of the car, the damn thing is legitimately gorgeous, okay? From the other side of the car, hell no. <laughs> it just ain't happening. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This could be something, like I said, you know, I need, I, I do want to get a long term project, something I can work on a little bit over a long period of time and make me a masterpiece. I don't know if this is going to be it. But, like, again, it all depends on money it depends on what this goes for if this car went for a thousand bucks i'd buy it if it went for you know 1200 bucks 1500 bucks i'd buy it i'd definitely buy it because it's not a bad you know like i get what you're saying you're gonna say tk it's so much more damage yeah i, I hear what you're saying like I, I i can hear the comments now but i can replace that fender easy that's just suspension work. You know, I'm probably just control arms and stuff. I bet you we could fix that. A door, right? And then I'd have to have a body guy work his magic. I bet you that door maybe could be fixed on the back. You know, body fill stuff, body fill stuff, body fill stuff, and a good paint job. Like, if I could get this thing for 1500 bucks and then put, say, 3500 maybe four thousand into it i have a very nice s550 for about five grand i know you said i probably could buy one for that price but did you see that interior did you see the mileage it's low it's low miles i know you're gonna say 150,000 miles is not low miles but it really is this is not bad this is not bad at all let me know what you guys think in the comments see i, I try to get some fresh air i pull the mask up over my face and i immediately smell that damn Rotten fist mill again. All right. This is for you carnage freaks. All right. I don't even know what the hell this was. But look at that, man. Say it with me. Smash. Like, they even got a chain over it. Well, they just had to pick it up. I'm looking at something to see if I can identify what it was. I'm going to assume it was a Chevy. Yep. There's that grill. Chevy Silverado, huh? Woo! Say it with me. Smashed. Smashed. I don't know what the hell you had to do to do that, son, but you did the damn thing. Like, you must have drove off a damn overpass or something. Woo! That's some straight carnage for you. Some straight carnage. Hey, the Tahoe, the 400,000 mile Tahoe is still here. Look at that, man. Smashed. I hope that this got hit when it was parked or something. Oh, the keys are in the ignition. That's not ever a good sign. Ouch. And with that seat that far pushed up, I don't know, man. Oof. Ouch. All right. Next, on to some positivity, because that truck was really depressing. We have another uh, Chevy Silverado with the extended cab, not the crew. It is an LT. The back bumper is bent down. I'm willing to bet that's why it's totaled. The tailgate's dented. I don't see a buckle in the bed. Oh, I also see that when it did get hit, the bed hit the cab. And that's probably why they totaled it. Flex fuel, E85, it says. Smells like dip in here. Nice. This must be a farm truck or something. Like you can just see the dust and the hay and stuff all in here. 
Mm. All right. I bet you it's dead, but I'll give it a shot. Ooh! You hear that? She sounds good. Did you hear it fire up, though? Ooh! Yes. I like yees. I like ye, I like ye. <laughs> I like those tires. Neato. Neato trail grapplers. All right. Huh. She sounds good. She does have a check engine light, but it sounds good. Hmm. Got a Pioneer aftermarket stereo, cloth seats. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I could see somebody doing something with this. Eh. I bet you this is going to go for some money, though. Somebody will overpay. Like, right now, cars are going really high out of Copart. And I think it's only going to get worse. Like, I think it's because everybody's stuck at home over the virus. Hey, she runs. The mileage isn't too ridiculous. It sounded hella good on startup. Hey, man. This could be... It all depends. You know, if everybody, it depends on when it comes up at the auction. You know, if it's going to come up for the right amount of money. You know, like if it comes up towards the end of the auction and everybody's already blown their wad, you know, then, you know, this is a possibility that you could get a, a, get a good, easy win, you know. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. All right, guys, next, I wanted to take a look at this BMW X3. The damage didn't look that serious in the photos. It did list that the airbags deployed. But now that I'm here and I can actually see it, this is a hell to the no, 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 damn. <laughs> Say it with me, smash. If you guys wanna know why I like driving the truck so much, while I like driving a Tahoe, that's why. Look at that. It's a friggin' tank. They probably hit something and it's going like 80, right? 100. And yeah, it buckled the whole damn thing. The whole thing buckled, right? The whole thing broke. Airbags and stuff. But look, the main part of the cabin is is uh, intact, which means more than likely the people were okay. Back to this BMW uh, X3. I'm not even going to spend any more time on it. After seeing that, say it with me. Nope, smashed. Hell no. <laughs> no. All right, guys. Next, I want to take it this old school big body Lexus. What is this, LS430? Oh, I see what's up. Look at the damage on this one. This is not too serious. Not too serious at all. 188,000 miles. Also has a nice little crack here in the windshield. Yep, LS430, 2003. Are you dead though? That is the question. Oh, it smells so good in here. God, it smells so good in here, man. Whew. Oh, it's sad. It's dead. Look at this interior, man. It's like mint. I like the wood grain that they do in Lexuses, man. It always, it's always got my attention. I really, really, really like it. Jaguars are nicer too. They use a darker. And BMW does the same, but theirs is like plastic. This is actual wood, though. So, unless Lexus has changed something, they and they're using plastic. Are they using plastic? Don't break my, don't kill my, man. Or maybe the older ones use plastic and they now use actual wood. It sure looks like that, yep. Oh, well that's sad. This is cool, oh this is cool. Got the buttons here on the side. This car is super clean, man. 
This car is super, super clean. I bet you for the money. Oh, look, it's even got cigarette lighters. It's never used. All the books. Maintenance records. Oh. This could be a nice little everyday driver. Now, I know someone would say, but why would you want to put money into something like that? TK, why would you do that? Because it's not, this is not extensive damage. It's a bumper cover. You know, this is an 03. Parts are readily available for something like this. This is a perfect nice daily driver that you can buy from here for cheap it runs and drives right headlight fender you might even be able to get a body shop to fix that hood you know or you could bang it out you probably could get a paintless dent guy to bang that out for you it's not going to be perfect but you could get it to where it looks okay bumper cover headlight and fender but if you're going to do that just get a hood parts aren't ridiculously expensive for these you could definitely i mean this is a good flip car too like this is a car you probably could win for 600 bucks to 800 bucks i bet you it don't go a thousand all right low miles for this car i know you're saying 188,000 miles is a lot not for this these toyota these toyota v8s are actually pretty good and then like i said headlight fender bumper hood spray it color match it you know to the other rest of the car you could flip the damn car you know, three to six hundred dollar paint job. Let's say you win the car for six hundred bucks. That's twelve, right? And then you got fees, so you're probably at fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Say you're two grand into the car, you probably could sell this car for thirty five hundred all day. You probably could sell it. 3500 or like i said two grand you have a really nice full-size luxury car that you could daily drive you know like i don't i don't get it and i bet you you could probably even find the bumper cover fender and hood that matches the color and not even have to pay for paint i don't know what do you guys think win bid or no bid i don't know this might be something i might want to take a shot at oh man this car this is one of those Lucky Nation cars. <laughs> Shout out to Lucky's Wheels and Deals. This is a Chevy Impala LTZ. Now parts for this are readily available. I don't even care about this damage. What I care about is what it looks like on the inside. And it says it runs and drives. Mileage, slightly concerning. 212,000 miles. Now the tires still have some armor all on them. Meaning somebody kept this thing pretty clean. That fenders. Oh, it's just creaking. That's normal. She's got power. Oh, please don't smell like ass. <laughs> ah, it's a win. It doesn't stink. All right. We're doing good. Well, it smells... I don't know. Let's see if she starts. Change engine oil soon right away. That's not a positive sign. She fires up. Does the AC work? Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's see if the AC works. Here it comes. All right, it is running good. There's no check engine light, so that's a good thing. It's got a little bit of a power steering wand. I'm sure there's stuff up front that needs to be taken care of. Oh, AC works. I turned you off. All right. She don't sound bad. This has that direct injection 3.6, I believe, right? I had an LTZ. I had a silver one for like, what, eight months? It was a lease that got damaged in uh, Hurricane Matthew. And I did like the car. Mine had a sunroof, though. This one does not have a sunroof. It does have the leather seats. And it is in pretty good condition. Eh. 
It does have the Bose sound system. It does have 200,000 miles on it. The 3.6 is not my favorite motor. But like I said, everything is for sale. Everything has its price. And if the price is right, <laughs> if, the, if the price is right, do, 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 do. Let me stop. All right. If the price is right, I'll buy it. Because I know this is a car I can flip super, super easy. Like, I wouldn't even have to put effort into selling this car. These cars literally sell themselves. Now, yeah, I'm going to need a hood. I could probably buff out that headlight and make it look like new. Sand it, clear coat it. Bumper cover, for sure. Grill. Headlight. But I bet you the rest of that stuff, that other fender and stuff, I could probably adjust. There's no actual core support damage if you look down here and see. Okay. It's not bent up. Yeah, says it runs and drives. I believe it does. I bet you I could drive this thing right back to Goldsboro, just like this. Not with that flat tire, though. But, like I said, this is the kind of vehicle that, yeah, you can flip. You can do good with this. This is an LTZ Impala. This is nice. You know, this wouldn't be that expensive to fix either. Parts are so readily available for these. It's not even funny. So, you probably fix that whole front end for 150 bucks. And then sell it. I wouldn't even, I, would, I don't even know if I'd paint it. Even if the panels didn't match, I'd still get my money out of it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, I got one more car to show you guys today. And that is a beautiful Lexus. Now, I saw this the other day. But one of the things I don't bid on, I don't bid on vehicles that are title pending. I want to be able to get a vehicle, you know, start working on it. And I want to be able to tag it like right away. And on a title pending, you got to wait. You can't really do much until you get the title to it, you know. So the car just literally sits after you buy it. And I'm not a fan of that. Look at this Lexus. Now this one may be a diamond in the rough. It is a running and driving car the parts and components look to be inside the vehicle so that is a positive i see we are missing a few things here i can definitely see this apron is bent there but nothing too serious nothing too serious little ding here you know like i, I could see that that would total total that car in a heartbeat but that's something I would literally put some put, put some vice grips on and bend that shit out. Like, I, I, I wouldn't care. You can see the rim, too. Look at the rim. It's chipped and, like, hit. It must have hit something hard on that side. Scratching the paint. Nothing too crazy. No airbags. That's a win. Bumper's already in here. <clears throat> With the uh, Hello Kitty logo. All right, let's see if she's dead. She is. All right. This was one I was definitely interested in because it's a hard top convertible, right? It's a hard top convertible. It's got 134,000 miles. It's a Lexus. And I was interested in this because the damage to me wasn't that serious. Now, see, this part is up here. See this? And I know that goes down there. See that? So, it looks like it's got potential. I mean, I see where people are saying, TK, you're not looking down there. You don't see the whole thing is all pushed down and in. Yeah, I see it, <laughs> but I don't care. Like, I would fix it up. It could still be driven. It's not... See, these are the kind of cars that I, would, I wouldn't buy a car like this and then sell it. This would be a giveaway car. Now, I know some of them say, that's not safe, TK. Look, I'm not giving away or I would never sell a car that's not safe. It'd have to pass a state inspection where I'm at. And any of the cars I buy, I usually, especially even if I like the last giveaway car we did uh, with auto auction rebuilds out in Oklahoma City. Like, it still has to go through a vehicle inspection. So, 
like we're not stupid i'm not going to give away and or sell a vehicle that's unsafe a car like this with this kind of damage to the inside would have to be a giveaway vehicle i wouldn't sell it so but i wouldn't give it away i'd drive it it'd be a nice daily convertible you know hard top daily drive little zippy little ass car man i would definitely be interested interested in this for sure you know this isn't bad man like i said this isn't bad i could do something with this again it would depend on monetarily what it goes for but we'll see let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below all right guys that's going to do it for today's copar walk around if you like today's video and you like what i do make sure to hit that thumbs up button like it was disrespectful and said something crazy to you and uh hit that subscribe button uh will smith style all the way across the face and um yeah until next time thank you guys very much for watching stay tuned there's a lot more content coming soon and we're trying to get back to getting those double videos a day uh on the channel maybe a walk around and then something that deals with news or something else i am going to try to keep sweating my ass off today it is hot as balls but uh there you have it man let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you guys very much for watching and i will catch you guys very soon on the next one.